Last week, who smiled at me funny? I so his shit. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jim. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. She would be wise to do the same. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. I sure hope so. She might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. You'd better, for your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so... I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you. Get the hell out of here, and don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Hit me up if you got questions.
I should just get out of here and go join this. Set up on the moon away from everyone else. You ask me? All this stuff is Take your time. I got all day. Hey, take it easy. Your neighbor's new recruit? Negotiating with the FC. Nope, no way. And rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. SY920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that. But I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Do not mistake us for amateurs. We will get the job done without sacrificing your route. I appreciate the confidence. I just want to remind you, this job calls for more discretion than your usual swashbuckling adventures. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out, if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. We'll talk more on the ship. Few things to note. 
When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Good. Say nothing and let their minds fill in the gaps. Arguably a good philosophy for more than just this mission. I'd say so. There are times when you have to put on a show, but that's more for new clients. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. Credit to 
I find the interior of this ship comforting? You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. Well, maybe if you hurry. Yeah, I get that this place can be a maze. Maybe if you do it quickly. Ugh, nobody told me. Figures, the way the chain of command's been shuffled so much. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. That goes for your friend, too. We will be quick. Another day, another patrol. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. It's classified too, I bet. Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. That doesn't sound like Commander Natara. She's the type to add more checkpoints, not remove them. Yeah, I get that this place can be a maze. I suppose if you're quick... I suppose it's not that big of a deal. There's another checkpoint by the elevators, anyway. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. That goes for your friend, too. We will be quick. Things have gotten real tight since Commander Natara took over for Commander Woods.
I suppose that is ours now, eh? State your business. Hey, you got an issue with security procedure? Take it up with Commander Natara. Anyways, logging ensign level clearance. Your friend there have the same clearance? Of course. Then you're both good to go. With the change in leadership, security's been beefed up. Even the checkpoints have checkpoints. It is good to be back in our own ship. Need your clearance code, Marine. It's been that way since Commander Natara took over. No entry in the command bay without a clearance code. I'll say. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have him clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map.
I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance? Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Akasaka. I assume the two of you are together? Yes, we are t together. Then you're both clear. Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Yes? Right. Naiyu here. Goggles almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. First lesson in being a rookie. 
You share the loot, but not the risk. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. The team is looking for more I should stop time. letting my career define myself worse. Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. It's potential. Huh. We are far beyond potential. This is the biggest advancement in decryption tech since the Ando Paterak Inference Theorem. Everything beyond this point is purely extra credit. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Really? And then maybe all of my pestering has finally paid off. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new task pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice.
You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance? Test pilots only beyond this point. Not on my watch. Outside of Dr. Vogel, the only person to authorize additional permissions is Commander Natara, and I don't see either of them with you. So, what's this big project you're working on? I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Literally. Yes? I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? Reporting for duty, pilot. Another test flight, huh? You pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center.
pilot. I was the kid who ate too much heel paste. Look at me now. A Marine on a UC star. Things were a little too loose under Commander Woods. Commander Taro being strict at checkpoints, controls, that's If you are free soon, could we talk? Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. Head on in. We'll take the ship to another port so Jazz can have a look. There are UC bureaucrats that... I have things I wish to discuss with you. If you need credits, Hit up the mission for you. Are you looking to start something? Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Whether Crix's legacy is real or not, we have a job to do, and we will see it through. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. I'm hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. Soon, everyone is going to It is almost impressive that the Crimson Fleet has managed to maintain this place. Ready to make those credits? Mm. 
Need to have Aludra take a look at this kinetic. Recoil's off. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Perfect. That means you know how to handle the locals on Neon, which gives you a head start. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. We have dealt with more than a few of your captains. This one should be no problem. You did right by one. But she's almost as green as you two. Estelle is different. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the prize. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. <laughs> <laughs> 